And guys, we're just trying to sort through. We just had hundreds of fixtures thrown our way and we're trying to sort through it. What's your initial reaction to the draw? It's very difficult to digest quickly. I kind of want to sit down and take several half hours to look at every <laughs> single team. The thing that I like the most is that they hired Cristiano Ronaldo to press a button over <laughs> and over and over Probably got again. good money for it too. And, and, and the facial expression every time. <laughs> How do you mix it up? He was you're, like, you're pressing a button 36 you, times. You do one you finger, you do the palm, you do the elbow. Just like he, he, looks, he looks good though. No, I'll tell you that. He yeah. looked he looked good, yeah. young. He what didn't you, look what old. What do you think he's eating falafel? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's he's still awesome. playing professional football, Charlie. But, but Witty, I tell you one thing that really stuck out to me was Leipzig's draw. Mm. It is a gauntlet. I mean, talk about heavyweight after heavyweight after heavyweight. I, I mean, the executives for Leipzig were like, is this for real? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as, as the names kept getting spat out, it's like, my goodness. So it's Inter, Liverpool, Juventus, Atleti, Sporting, Celtic, Aston Villa. That's, that's, that's a fairly significant murderer's row. Now, Michael, we were kind of figuring out with this new format, top 24 teams make it into a theoretical knockout round. As you look at the draw here for RB Leipzig, kind of interesting that that's where we begin of all the teams. But yeah, definitely the one that seemed to take the most big names, at least. Yeah, you could definitely see the beads of sweat going on all the executives' faces, but this is a Leipzig side that they've proven. You go back to last year, they have young talent that if you don't treat them with respect, they do have the quality to land the knockout blow. Lois Appenda is a good player. Xavi Simons is a good player. Benjamin Shesko, when he plays for Leipzig, not so much with his national team, but for this side, he's a yeah, quality and, player. And then and they just lost Danny Olmo as well. Balancing two competitions as well, right? You get two more group stages on the other side of the new year when Germany takes their winter pause that is pretty significant and you're right back into the thick of it with a congested schedule and then if you don't make top eight you still have to play two more games the knockout stage yeah. I'm just looking at their names Liverpool Inter Juve uh, Celta uh, Celt 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 Celtic Celtic <laughs> I see the Celtic. CEO <laughs> Aston Villa that's five Champions League winners that I'm counting right yeah that's that's okay so let's get to last year's winner then Real Madrid they draw a Champions League final rematch from last year. They also have Liverpool, Milan, Atalanta, very city heavy, Salzburg, Lille, Stuttgart, and Brest. We know that they're going to miss Jude Bellingham for a period of time, but Charlie, how do you react to that draw for Real Madrid? Uh, we knew that this new format would, would pose some problems and some challenges, but I think if you're Real Madrid, you're, you're, you're pretty happy with, with this. Um, Dortmund is, is a rematch, and... I'd, st I'd say they feel pretty comfortable playing against Dortmund. Liverpool and Milan, uh, those are, are, are challenges as well. But for, for Real Madrid uh, and the depth that they have yeah. and the talent that they have, this should not be an issue for them. I'm trying to understand, as we all are, the dynamic of how this will play out. We don't know the schedule yet. This isn't the schedule. This is just pot one through four sorted out. It could be in, in, in any order. But if you're a team like Real Madrid, you would imagine you can get three points off of Bresh, Stuttgart, Lee. With all due respect to Stuttgart, for example, who's a really good team, but Real Madrid has more quality than most of the teams here. No, How do you differentiate you yourself? All, all of these teams. Okay, fair, fair, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> but when you get the pot one teams, the, the pot one teams that are going to make, or the, any team that's going to make that top eight, where you want to secure yourself a nice little ticket into February and not have to play more fixtures, those big games that we're all looking forward to, those are the ones that you have to win because your quality over the rest of the pack is probably going to be more and, and it'll get you over the line. So that's what I'm looking forward. Mm -hmm. That's why those games matter so much as opposed to sometimes they didn't in, in the old format. Well, this is the big conversation. What is going to be the standard to make it to the round of 24? Let's say you're a team that's trying to finish between 21st and 24th. We were having a conversation. Maybe we think that's nine points yeah. it'll take to get there. What does it take to finish in the top eight and be one of the top seeded teams? Out of eight games, probably 15 or 16 points, we would mm -hmm. think, something like that. It's a pretty high standard to hit. It doesn't leave a lot of margin for error. And really the biggest thing that this new league format was meant to do was give us some big matchups. So let's take a look at some of those big matchups that we picked out just based off of these pot one teams playing each other. We haven't seen this much in the league phase. We used to be the group stage of the Champions League. Bayern, Barcelona, Dortmund, Real Madrid. These used to be a group of death matchups if one team was in pot one, another team was pot two. And now, Michael Hood, we're going to see 
Messi does it every week in the Champions League. Yeah, ask and you shall receive, Woody. And I asked for Xabi Alonso to go back to Anfield to play against his former side in Liverpool. And I got that wish. We all will get that wish. Liverpool, they are going to get two big matches, not just Leverkusen, which that could be that sort of sleeper game that we say, uh-oh, Liverpool, Arne Slot, are you really one of those teams that we're considering? Well, the top teams of world football will have answers to that in that match, but none bigger than going up against the reigning European champions away from home. That's two big tests early on for the Reds. You got to also love uh, Hansi Flick going to Bayern Munich uh, with Barcelona. And this Barcelona squad, they have so much talent. And you feel like maybe because of what was going on behind the scenes that there's been distractions. Now it feels like Hansi Flick on the sidelines at Barcelona really have this hope that they can challenge for trophies this year and that it's attainable. It's Barcelona at home, by the way, against Bayern Munich. It'll yeah. be, it'll be a, a nice meeting for Hansi Flick, not only with Bayern Munich, but then they travel to Borussia Dortmund. So it's, you've got a German manager for Barcelona facing two German teams. Yeah, we did uh, rankings before the draw of every team in each pot, and Barcelona actually looked like they came out the best of any of the pot one teams facing Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund, Atalanta, Benfica, Young Boys, Red Star Belgrade, Brest, and Monaco. Right. It's pretty, pretty kind for a team that's growing into playing at this level. They made the quarterfinal last year, but with a bunch of young players growing into playing at this you, level. You, you understand the class that Barcelona has, right, and their potential and their quality. Remove the pot one teams, the Bayern, the Dortmund for Barcelona. You look down the line, just say they get maximum points, right? You can draw here or there. They go undefeated from Atalanta downwards to Monaco. We're talking about very possibly being about amongst the first eight teams mm -hmm. to qualify to the next round, and that puts you in the round of 16. And they should. I mean, they looking should, at their, should, yeah. the quality that they have, barring any major injuries, right. I, I think this Bayern, uh, Barcelona side will, will get into the, the top eight. I'm glad you said that, Chuck, because I have a lot of faith in this Barca side because they have a manager. The toughest teams, two toughest teams that they have to play, German sides. Hansi Flick, he knows German football like the back of his palm or the back of his hand, whichever one comes first. And I think that that's the sort of confidence that managers, good managers, give to young players. Say, hey, follow my DNA, follow my plan, and we'll get to the finish line. And one of the interesting things as well is not just who you draw, but where you draw them. Because, for instance, Barcelona, we saw there, you get Red Star Belgrade. Maybe you think that's a decent matchup, but... It's in Belgrade. That's one of the most difficult places to go. And there's going to be quite a few places over the course of this Champions League. You look at the likes of maybe Bologna that have not played yeah. in the European Cup since the 60s. You look at Brest who have never played in European competition. It's not their home, but it's going to be the biggest night of their lives, that first Champions League uh, league phase game. Where you draw these games is just as important as anything. Yeah, especially in the for the Pot 1 teams. When you're playing other Pot 1 teams, the home and away, you, you want to play the, the more difficult sides home, right? If you play, if you have to play Leipzig um, away, away you, you're okay with that. And that would be a, a dream scenario for a lot of these pot one teams. Uh, there's a couple of teams, I, I think, for example, like a Red Star. Pot one, most, all pot one teams and most pot two teams are going to beat Red Star. Red Star haven't been as strong in the last couple of years. So even I, Liverpool once drew... Red Star recently in a in a group stage with Napoli and I forget who the fourth team was but Liverpool were much better than than Red Star but it's it's not those teams that I'm concerned about it's Red Star making the most at home from the matchups that one matchup in pot three that one matchup in pot four and potentially well let's see Red Star for example now you got me curious right <laughs> we're breaking this down live right uh, against against Benfica uh, no they're uh, yeah they're home to Benfica so there's okay that's massive potential yeah. to steal points off of a very important team in Benfica at home if you're the likes of someone who's strong at home like Red Star Belgrade